Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can put up the show for your presentation. So, for putting up the show, you have to go in this fifth tab, which is a slideshow. Once you click over here, you will have these options available. So, what we can do is, you can either have the show from the beginning, you can click over here, and the show begins. If you want to exit, you can either press on the escape, which is on the keyboard, the extreme left corner, or you can have the right click of the mouse, and you will get this drop down menu pop up basically, and click on this end show. If you want to have a show from some front slide, like maybe you are on this slide, slide number four, and you want to show it from here, you can click from here, front slide, and the show will begin from here. You don't have to start it from the beginning. And again, if you want some other stuff, custom slideshow, you want to design and create your own slideshow, you can click over here and click on this custom shows. So from here, you can put up the show, you can start making the show like that. Like for you want slide number one to come up first, you want slide number two, something like that. But you don't want to all the slides to be there. So maybe I just want slide number one and then I don't want the introduction, I just want the list of flowers, then I want maybe the slide number 9 which is the table and I want the slide number 10 which is the chart and the thank you. And I want to show the rest of the information, right? This is this may be more convenient for my business, that's why I want to put up the show like this and just hit on OK. This is called custom show 1. So now I'll just click on this show, so see it will start first slide then it should show the list of flowers which was a third slide perfect and next is the table which was the ninth and the tenth slide is the charts so this way you can customize your slideshow you don't have to depend on any of the specific way that you, how it should be shown so after the slideshow is over if you click on and or escape next is Set up a slideshow. What you can do with this option? Let's go in the beginning and click on set up slideshow. So with this, you can have it like some few options like this. From there, you can put the slideshow. Like you don't want it from the beginning. Like you just want to show slide number two to eleven. Or this is the last slide which is available to us. Or maybe I want to start from five. I don't want to start from the beginning right so for custom show you can either have this one custom show you want to show or you want to have something else then you want to have the timings if presented or you want to do it manually for now we have the timings that we have set it for to the four seconds and then you want to show it on the multiple computers like on the projector and the your own computer or you want to show it just on one projector right now my this laptop is not connected to any projector so this will show only to me as a primary monitor okay so in case you have a projector and you have your laptop so the uh, projector will be visible to all the audience and the laptop will be for your use so you can click over this option show presenter view then if you want to use some pen or you want to use some uh, maybe you want to show it to the people over here the audience over here and you want to show some kind of uh, values then you can use the color of the pen now the show options loop continuously until escape show without narration show without animation in case you don't want to have any of this option so about narration we have not discussed let i'll discuss it with you right now in case you don't want to have a narration this is a narration that you will record for yourself uh, and basically it will it will speak up and if you don't want to show that then click over this show without narrations right and yeah that's all so you should always use the current resolution this is this is the recommended one let it be like this only and yeah perfect so let's go back and click ok so this was your what you can do with the setup show now hide slide using hide slide what will happen this particular slide will not show up in your uh, in your uh, complete presentation so when you are setting up the show 
this particular slide whose whichever slide you have chosen and you click on hide slide that will not be visible okay let's let's move on next is record narration if you want to record any kind of narration that will be requiring your microphone and whatever you record that will be being spoken up automatically behind the ppt whenever it will display next is the rehearse timing rehearse timing is the timing uh, which you will decide that how and what what time it will move on further like i want this after 8 seconds and this is basically overpowering all the 4 seconds that you have taken up so i want this to be like this okay so what will happen next time this is automatically take up i'm going to pause it for now uh, this will automatically take up this much amount of time to transition the objects as well as the slides so i don't want to do it i'm closing it for now so the total time for the slideshow was 20 seconds do you want to keep the new slide timings uh, when you view the slideshow no for now i don't want to keep it but yes for you but whenever you have done it properly you can have it yes okay if i rehearse the timings right now my that previous timing that i've created during the animation this will be overpowered now if you want to use the rehearse timings or not so this is also one option so if if you have reverse rehearse the timings you can click again you can rehearse it and then if you want it then you can use it if you don't want it then don't use it for rehearsing simply as i've told you just keep clicking on the enter button from your keyboard only at that much of amount of time will be taken by each slide but i am doing it very fast so that i can finish it yeah perfect so what is happening the whole slides have come up like just like for 22 seconds so i'm just closing it and keeping the timing which is the 25 seconds and when i'm done with this you see i get these type of information available so it, I did it so fast that these two slides are not even visible. They are at 0, 0 seconds and the rest of the slides are at 1, 1 second. 7 seconds, 4 seconds, 2 seconds, 1 seconds. And the rest. And if you want to use the rehearse timing, keep clicking on it and click on the slideshow. And if you don't want to have the rehearse timing, you can untick it. I took it 7 seconds for this slide so it, it will take 7 seconds for the rest of the slide it is 4, 3, 2, 1 or maybe 0 you can see the transition speed it has increased so this is the rehearse timing this will help you that uh, you can have the narration of your PPT or you can rehearse with the PPT that how much time it is going to take and you don't have to use the enter button or maybe the mouse click and wait for it to turn so what will happen while you are giving your presentation the rehearse timing helps you to keep changing the slides on their own like your whole presentation maybe is of 10 minutes your teacher has told you to make a presentation of 10 minutes not my, more than that you can rehearse this timings at home and you can make a presentation uh, accustoming to like each slide takes maybe two two minutes one minute something like that and you're explaining or whatever is present on that slide so you can use it that way so this was the way you want to have the reverse timing if you don't want just untick it and let's have the slideshow from the beginning and it will follow the same pattern which was which we have done in the previous uh, uh, slide that is after four minutes or not something four seconds sorry four seconds right so this is how it works yeah the next thing that you have is the view tab and from the view tab what you can do is you can have the different views as i told you that's a new normal view this is normal view if you want a slide sort of view it looks something like this if you want a notes page the, if you have made any notes over here that will be shown like this so let me enter some notes for you very quickly because that is the one which is left out so i want to go in normal view 
and now I want to add the notes over here click here and click like this is the introduction this is for me only no one else can see when I put it on the slideshow of the class discuss I'm giving this note to me discuss about the list of flowers right so like this you can write some other roses are beautiful or something like that this is for you and they are red the additional information that you don't want to show it to your audience so when when you put this notes page it will show the information right here but when you put the slideshow it will not appear so to put the slideshow you can go here in the view tab and here you can click on the slideshow or you can come over here on the bottom here you also have the slideshow option or the other option is clicking on f5 from your keyboard that is a shortcut key so let's click over here and you will see that we don't have any kind of additional notes that we that we have written right you don't see that so next is the rulers and the grid lines the rulers are basically the things that you see over here and the grid lines look something like this they divide your whole page into the slide into small uh, boxes small square so here you can make the placement of your objects properly like you want it to be the center so you can count that this much and this much amount is not same it means it's not in center so i'm going to drag it a little bit this time this side so it comes in the center yeah so these are basically for adjusting and aligning your objects the grid lines you can put the objects the way you want i want it to be a little bit more here and i want this thing to be on this side yeah so this is now the center the same amount of space need to be left from the both ends so this is how you make use of the grid lines or the rollers and then this is for the zoom in if you want to zoom in like you want it to, to fit to the uh, screen or you want it to zoom into 400 percent 200 percent then 100 percent 50 percent whatever the zoom in thing that you want then if you want to fit it to window maybe after zooming in maybe let's do it to 200 percent maybe and click ok you see this expand if I want it back to fit to your whole window let's click over this and then this is the colors thing that the colors you want for your for your slides maybe you want it in the grayscale you see the whole of the slides would go turn into grayscale right if you don't want any of the grayscales you can go back and tap to the colors mode and you want pure black and white you can have the pure black and white everything will be turned black and white yeah so that's all for now thank you so much